Hello my people, welcome to the SCORE channel. That right there is America. So you know what that means? We're in Canada. We're gonna be checking out the University of Windsor in this episode of University. Windsor's located just on the other side of the Detroit River, and the University of Windsor is literally one of the first things you see when you enter the country via the Ambassador Bridge. Now, this video is a bit of an odd one. I did the interview over Zoom, but I couldn't pass up a chance to check out the university myself. So, say hi to Martha, and stick around for the video that I show you guys of the university as I am Martha, I am the student recruitment advisor for the University of Windsor. So I look all over the region of Latin America and the Caribbean to multiply and to receive diversity to a place like the University of Windsor. We are not the biggest university in Canada, and we don't want to be the biggest university in Canada. We have the facilities of a larger university, but we have a mid size faculty and campus. Our nine faculties include faculties like business, which is our dead school of business. Windsor's business school is a major attraction for the university, but their engineering program is also excellent. They've invested heavily in new facilities like the Epic Center and the new Center for Engineering Innovation. Windsor's co-op program will make sure you actually know how to put those skills to use. We have a lot of agreements with businesses that are in that area and even with businesses outside of Canada. We have a need to get our students professional experience. One year paid work in Canada or even outside of Canada. We even had students that we have sent to Japan, Germany, Switzerland, and we're also keen on being a globalized institution. But one thing I loved about Windsor was how they let you mix and match with joint degree programs. There's a lot of flexibility in what we offer. And we like to say we can cater to your very particular world. For example, students are applying for engineering, but also have an interest in music and they're combining both interests in a degree. I know a lot of people think about studying in Canada and immediately gravitate to universities like the University of Toronto or University of British Columbia in Vancouver. But being in Windsor has its benefits. The cost of living. Because we are not a city as Toronto, we're talking a 60% difference. An apartment that can cost you $700, $800 in Windsor can cost double in Toronto. Our students are privileged enough to say, I can be in Canada and the States on the same day and it only takes five minutes. You've got the best of both worlds. You've got easy access to just about everything you would ever want, but you've got a little more affordable cost of living in a smaller city that honestly feels like a nice community. It's also not terribly cold. I mean, look how nice this day looks. So what kind of students does Windsor look for? Students that are really focused and confident on what they want to achieve, at least an 80% under GPA. The University of Windsor is looking to expand its diversity. So we're welcoming students from Peru, Chile, Colombia, Brazil, Mexico. When it comes to price, Windsor is one of the more affordable universities in Canada. The cost for a year of business studies is around 50,000 Canadian dollars a year, including residence and food. But good news, international students. We have just recently secured an international excellency scholarship up to $20,000 in scholarship for international students. We also have the open entrance scholarship. So we as a university, we give around 11 million dollars in scholarships for all students. We review your GPA, 96% and above, you're gonna get the top scholarship, which is 4,000 Canadian dollars per year. So scholarships can cover up to half of your costs if you qualify. If you do co-op or work in Canada, you can easily cover the rest by working. Windsor students average $18 an hour, and some make as much as $33 per hour while they study. Now that I've had a chance to kind of walk around here, I feel like the thing that has stood out to me the most is just how many services this university provides for its students. I mean, I saw teeth whitening for free. There was a free counseling area for like dealing with stress and anxiety. Just about anything you could ever need is here. And I thought that was really cool. So all that's left is to know when to apply. The next available intake is gonna be winter 2022. You can start applying to winter now. The portal is now open for our winter applications. Great talking to you, Andrew. Thank you so much for the space. Gracias a todos los que nos, nos han visto hasta hoy. I'm very happy always to talk to students. If you want us to cover more universities in Canada or anywhere else, leave a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see. Now that things are starting to open up, 
I have a feeling we're gonna be doing a lot more trips like these. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this and you wanna learn more about how to study in Canada, then I suggest you check out the video we made a few months ago about how to study in this country, complete with a cameo by my friend Jason Markowski. If you're looking for universities in other countries, then maybe you should check out the video we did on IE University in Spain. So Windsor has the fourth best pizza in the world, so you have to go out and try that if you like pizza.